Time is here for the sizzling summer, so which is the best place to head for a vacation? If you wish to beat the heat, then Antarctica is a perfect place. Even in the summer, temperatures drop down to minus 30 or below. Reaching here is even more enthralling. Stay clear of icebergs and make sure you travel in the sturdiest ships, like this one. But you are not alone, you've got company. Exploding the sea are the chinstrap penguins. Before long, the beaches are crowded with these enchanting creatures. It appears to be a colony of waiters. And, uh, by the way, who sent for the fish? The penguin is one weird creature. For them, the perfect shelter is a walk miles away from the beach, a destination full of mud-covered paths and penguin footprints. Over 200,000 penguins gather here and make this place their home in a matter of some days. It is all a chirpy and noisy penguin settlement. To avoid this cacophony, we move straight to the ice-laden ocean and spot huge humpback whales enjoying their daily swim in the ice. When all around you is white and blue, your eyes see a canvas full of unique designs. Bumping into frosty lives in the ice is an out-of-this-world experience. Our river tube mites survive in the frozen snow. Now they are warming themselves. Having an inherent facility to make themselves cool, these little mites can easily face winter, but they love the summers. These minute, fragile snow petrels are the salient features after summer is over. Flakes of snow begin to alight before winter begins, but they can only nest on exposed rocks. When you are swooping down from the sky into an ice-covered land the size of Australia, it is burdensome. One nest was located 140 miles away from the sea. And once a safe area is discovered, these petrels get together and after a big day's flight they rest and enjoy the cold luxuries of a snow shower. Searching for the perfect breeding place is troublesome and tiring. When the chicks come out into the world, the parents have to fly 300 miles to sea umpteen times. Living is definitely a tough task in summertime. Our destination is an island which you can only reach by ship and it's a week-long journey. Over five times the size of New York City, this island survives at five degrees and it can surely teach the Big Apple some things about being cool. Our destination, South Georgia. South Georgia, although being near Antarctica, 
hardly suffers from the enormous sea ices that surround the South Atlantic landmass all year, helping it keep somewhat warmer. No wonder it is a safe haven for so many creatures. South Georgia is the converging point for the albatross world. These splendid birds have been circling and flying over the world's oceans the entire year. If you sight them in summer, you will find them flying back home to bring up a family. They travel to the rocky cliffs and thick grass of the island. with a huge wingspan of 11 and a half feet, the albatross can be seen soaring around its nest. These big birds have an emotional side too. Couples staying far from each other mate for life and see each other only on the occasion of a touching ceremony. To be all mushy is hard in all this commotion as on the shores below is a huge encampment of king penguins. Every year, roughly more than a million birds flock together to make a louder noise and of course to bring up some more of their progeny. If you wish to sight some fabulous chicks, then April is the perfect time. Sashaying in style, this male here is trying to floor the females. When the adults return after the fishing activities, there is a slight chance of them forgetting where they last saw their young ones. King penguins have this unique ability to catch the calls of their young chicks accurately. Unfortunately, the chicks are inclined to wander away. So even if their parents recollect where they left them, it might be too late already. The adult recognizes the call of its young chick at last through the buzz of the crowd and rushes out towards it. The beach is a happening and bustling place, and there are many more things worth watching in South Georgia, like the elephant seals. These enormous creatures weigh up to three tons. To witness two males of this fine species combating is not a pleasant sight at all. Only heaven can safeguard anything in their way. It is a tremendous fight. When these macho creatures grow to their maximum, they can become as tall as a bear standing on its feet, about eight feet tall. All this battle is just to claim the all-important ownership of the beach before they decide to breed this year. submerged in life, stuck bang in the heart of the ocean, and a hostile place definitely not suited for the weak at heart. Places, the frozen forests of Russia, popularly called Siberia. Temperatures dip close to minus 50 degrees. Siberia is the biggest region of the largest country in the world, Russia. Siberia is so vast that it even beats Canada the second largest country in size. The further north you travel, the colder it gets. We have now reached the taiga, a famous belt of forest located at the edge of the Arctic Circle. The perfect place to find life in any shape, size or form. 
The sprawling forests, estimated to have 140 billion cubic feet of timber, is situated in its frozen clutches.